Hey everybody, my name is Amy. Welcome back to my channel. This is a channel about cross stitch mostly, um, sometimes diamond painting, sometimes sewing. Uh, what else? I don't know. Crocheting occasionally. Um, yeah. Uh, so this is floss tape. I don't know how many. Um, it's gonna be short because I don't have a lot to share. And I've been stitching on one thing. I think I'm just gonna put some pictures when I get to it because I don't feel like taking it off my cue stamp. Um, I think I showed you guys it last time. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna skip like all the life update stuff because I don't want these videos to be super long. I end up talking like way too much. Um, so yeah. So I was wanting to do, I get like antsy where I wanna have a new start and then I pull like all my hades and I'm missing a whole bunch of stuff in a bunch of my hades. Um, mainly because I would get so antsy to kit them up when I would buy them. When I first started stitching, my goal was to be able to kit up the majority of my patterns and have them just ready to go. So I did that and it only got me so far um, by buying bulk floss sets used like on eBay and um, Poshmark, Mercari, not Poshmark, Mercari and eBay and Facebook Marketplace or um, like Stash and Load. I would just buy these huge sets of floss um, that were easy for me to sort. And then I stopped doing that because I'm like, okay, now I have a ton. And then I was getting like excess of the same floss that I wasn't using. And so I just stopped. I still have a bunch, don't get me wrong, nowhere near what I had originally when I started out because I started kidding up a lot of my Heaven and Earths. So I probably have like 20 Heaven and Earths um, or even um, other full coverages, maybe 20 and 25, either 50% or more kitted thanks to that stash, but they're still missing a whole bunch. So I was wanting to start something. I don't even have the picture here. I'll put a picture here. It was pulled out the Grand Library. I started this, but I'm again, I'm missing a ton of floss um, from it. I probably don't even have all of the floss. So what I do is I go, I pull the floss lists from Heaven and Earth and go through my stash and mark off what I have. You can see by the check marks. And then when the, what doesn't have a check mark means I don't have it. Or if I only have a partial, I'll um, put like needs one or needs two. Especially if it's a color where I feel pretty safe getting, um, the lighting's just gonna be wonky. Um, like I'm not too worried about a color match. Like 310, that's kind of iffy. I try to get all the 310 at once because I've done that before. Use like older 310 and newer 310 and it doesn't match. Um, but anyway, I think my lens was just dirty because I cleaned it and the lighting is way better than it was. I have a crack like right across. Um, I have a screen protector, but there's a crack right across the lens of the camera. And if I don't like clean it like a bunch, it just messes with everything. So anyway, I wanted to do what I did here. And so like, I don't have even like half the flosses for this one. So I pulled this one out with the intention that I was gonna buy some, but I haven't gone to the store because honestly, it just hasn't been in my budget to spend um, money on floss. And when I buy floss for me, it's go big or go home. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna pull like two or three charts and I'm just gonna go buy them all because that's just how I am. And because I want like everything kitted, I don't know, I just have a problem. Which is why like I really reined it in on purchasing patterns. I haven't bought patterns. I can't honestly can't remember the last time I bought patterns. I think at the beginning of the year. We are August. I wanna say January, February I did buy some stuff. Maybe March. I don't know. Um so that's that. I just, I've really been feeling the urge to do only full coverage and I haven't, um, I just haven't, time is the biggest thing that's been keeping me from doing that. So besides that, um, that's besides the point. I think I'm going to do this one a little bit backwards and go into haul, um, instead of showing you my whips right away. So the only thing I did buy, actually buy, is mini the 10th, um, Heaven and Earth was having a 50% off sale. I think it's done by now. 50% um, off sale. This was in my wish list. I have this in a diamond painting that I purchased 
years ago when I first first started diamond painting before I knew about artists and copyright and all of those things I just saw something I liked and purchased it um from AliExpress like not realizing that it wasn't like legit um so that's how I came across the diamond painting the diamond painting was amazing it looks great still have it um but I really wanted the cross stitch version of this too I have the diamond art club one of the 11th but it doesn't match the other one because it's bigger and it's square haven't done it yet but i still have it i'm waiting to start i hate doing squares though um so yeah bought that it's only 9 by 13 on 25 count so i'm thinking that i might do this on an 18 count but i think it's gonna look fine still because 9 by 13 is still a little long but nine, I'm gonna get to the sides quickly. So I think I can go down to an 18. Um, we'll see. And is there only one? Why don't I print the, I don't know why I don't print these front and back. So there's still three pages of colors. Um, yeah, so I bought that. And then I remember seeing this a long time ago on Instagram that Story Stitches was gonna be having this. And then I never like, I never scroll Instagram anymore. Um, Story Stitches is having a Little Mermaid sale. Well, it's called Part of Your World sale. And I just realized that they're doing this. So I decided to go ahead and download what they have thus far. So I believe it's one room a month. So this isn't going to be done till like the end of the year. Let's see. September, October, November, December, January, February, March, if I'm not mistaken. So year, room seven just came out, which is um, Ursula down here. There's room seven. I don't know what order they go in. Actually, I think I do have the order. So they kind of go scattered like this. So I printed that out too, just in case. Um, but this is where it's at. And I actually only printed this out just to show you guys because I would have just left it um, like this so that I didn't have to waste um, the paper if it was for myself if it was something I wasn't going to show you guys I would have just left it like this because this would help me because when you download oh I just have them in order I need to put some numbers on these because they're not um, it doesn't say what they are on the chart like one two three four it just has the name of each room instead like perfect day to be at sea is this picture of Eric um, like down on the boat right there so yeah that's that those are the two things. Oh, this is free also on her, I don't know if it's her gum road or what it is, but it's free. Or I think it's a blog spot. I don't freaking know. Um, like this. I haven't downloaded a cell in quite some time. Um, I'm still working on the pick cell 2021. Didn't like the 2022 one. And I so far haven't decided if I liked the 2023 one. I'm undecided. It's like it's supposed to spell a word and it's supposed to be female lead characters or female characters in games, but I can't figure out what the word's supposed to spell. It's on Pixel Prime Cross Stitch Blogspot and I can't figure it out um, because it hasn't been enough releases yet that I can't figure it out and it doesn't say like anywhere what it's, at least I couldn't find it. So there's that. So what I've been working on, I put, since I talked to you guys last, I put a few stitches in this and then took it off my Q-step like that same day. Not my Q-step, but my Lowry and I was like, eh, I'm done. I don't know why. It just, this confetti right here, because I'm starting the moon and then her hair and I just haven't, haven't been with it. Plus, I think I'm missing a color as well. So that's something else I need to look into. And then I've been working on this. Um, I think... So this is, this is what it's going to look like in theory and that's what I've been working on and I've been working on this part. I'll put this here so I could put a picture right here. I've been working on the bottom of the TARDIS here and then all of this mess underneath it. It's a very confetti heavy. I cannot really see these swirls at all. So. Uh, I don't even know what I was saying. Um, yeah. Like, I can kind of see some of the definition on the... Um, 
on the canvas, I can definitely see like the TARDIS because it's like uniform. But with like this part is the part that I'm working on right here and I just can't see it yet. So I'm hoping that it starts coming to light and then I can see um, behind the TARDIS, I can see this swirl pretty good. And then that's like it. So I'm kind of worried that I'm not going to see it. And then like the definition of it just seems odd. Like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm really worried that it's not going to look like this. And if it's not, then like I'm done ordering uh, cross stitches from places because they don't let you choose the size for most of them. You know, the thing with printed anything, even regular cross stitches is the more stitches there is and the bigger it is, the more detail and the more accurate it's going to be. But you shrink it down so you can get cheap prices and people are buying them and then they're stitched up and they look terrible. They look like back in the day phones like 20 years ago, the pictures we used to take with our cell phones back then when cameras were not it. Like you could not get a good quality camera on a camera phone and then it would be all pixelated and if you try to send it to somebody, the quality, did, like you can even see, that's what I feel like they're doing, especially when they come out so small. These got sent to me for free. Um, I have two videos up. One was from Everyday e Deals, and one was from... I don't know. I have the videos up. They're from last summer sometime. Um, maybe not last summer, but it was last year sometime. Um, maybe, maybe January at the latest, February. But I'm pretty sure they were in 2022. I got sent many charts. Most of them, the... Um, canvas looks amazing the ada looks amazing it looks like it's on par to be what the picture is that i picked but i also picked most of the images were not super high like detail except for this one this one's the most and i have i have a puzzle that's the exploding tardis with this same kind of like theme the exploding tardis though it's in the same episode um the van gogh one so but anyway um, and that's literally it. I haven't done anything else because I've just been enjoying the stamped piece um, so I can watch TV and not really stress out about it. I can stop and not have to mark my place and all of those things and it's just been really nice for now. Um, but I am getting, um, I don't know the word in English, like ansias, anxious um, to do something else, especially a full coverage. My big problem is that people keep taking my charger box for my um tablet and this is where all my heaven and earth charts are right now and i haven't been able like keeping this charge has been a pain in the butt that's one of the things that's holding me back this is like the old um one and now all of our new chargers are usb-c to usb-c Every time I buy this, it's USB, and I can't plug it into anything. <sighs> At least it's going to make it charge like a proper time. My hair, it rained. So anyway, that's literally all I have to share. Um, hopefully this is under 20 minutes, and that's it. We'll see what next two weeks bring.